okay, balance. For as much as I talk about being authentic, there are times I don't want you to be authentic. Here are four times I don't want you to be authentic. You ever had those moments where you feel like you got to put up a front just to get through the day? Well, this is what I'm talking about. You see, the opposite of being authentic is that sometimes you can't be authentic. I want to tell you about those four times. Number one, if you're ever hungry, see, some of you already know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you people have that thing where if I haven't had my coffee, don't even breathe my name. Is that you? Right? You have to have those things to get you in sync and in rhythm and functioning so that you can enjoy your life in what you perceive as a normal state. And then those of you who get hangry, you know who you are. When you haven't had your meal, there's a part of you just like a grumbling, a grumbling in your stomach that has you just kind of hmm, just a little bit on edge. Say something, you'll find out. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That is the worst time for you to be authentic because chemically, you're actually unbalanced in that moment. Your whole system, uh, tell me in the comments, just add a comment now because I already know you guys are cracking up on your end of the world. Ask your family member, your significant other, what you're like when you haven't eaten. All of a sudden, short temper. All of a sudden, a little bit of attitude. Like somebody did something to you because you mismanaged your day. You didn't plan accordingly. All of a sudden, it's somebody else's fault. You know exactly who you are and you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm also being straight up with you. That is not the time to be authentic because you might go off on somebody because of a temporary state that you find yourself in of pure hunger. So instead, if you're that kind of person, there are things that you can do to prevent that because you never know when you're showing up in front of somebody, you need to be able to be authentically you to get what it is you're looking for versus the hangry sense, which is not authentic. It's actually not authentic. It's just a temporary state version of yourself. Number one, eat high nutrient dense foods. You don't know what that is? Google it or join a free VIP group where we talk about this kind of stuff so you can get the tools you need to win in life. A couple high nutrient dense categories, fresh fruit, nutrient dense, meaning when you eat it, you're not going to be hungry. It does not gonna, it's not going to cure your hunger. I'm saying when you eat it, you're getting nutrients in because you're feeding your cells, not your tummy. One apple is not going to get you what you need in nutrients. I'm not pretending. Three apples won't either. So look up nutrient-dense foods, a combination or an array of them, and just keep some of them on hand. Keep a small cooler in your car at work, a basket of fruit, whatever that looks like. Maybe a small packet of unsalted nuts. But nutrient-dense foods help you so that when you get in those situations where you have a long period of time where you've not been able to eat and you're really trying not to go off on people, well, if you eat nutrient-dense foods, the body has something there that can hold it over longer than traditional settings, longer than a regular meal where like steak and potatoes, you're going to get hungry pretty quickly, that sort of thing. Having that kind of food is going to help you win so you don't lose out just because you were being authentic while you were hangry. Number two, don't ever, 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 this ever, trust me when I tell you, be authentic when you are angry. That is the worst time on the planet. You know this, I know this, the best thing we can do is run out get out of Dodge as quickly as possible because the likelihood that we're going to say something we don't mean just went way up here. And now we're in a foreign territory where we might, you know, use some language, use a pitch or a tone, give off the wrong vibe, and you don't know how that's going to cost you. Yeah, I know when you're angry, it's important to express yourself. I'm not saying it isn't. I'm saying there's a difference between reacting, going off on somebody, 
blowing up, allowing all that energy to come out and saying it's who you are. Oh, really? Is that the representation of who you are you want people to get? And you don't want them to judge you, but you're creating a high emotional release that releases dopamine in their brain? And you don't want that to be remembered? Then don't do that. Instead, instead of choosing to react by not acting authentically in anger, you can shift process just a little bit. Maybe walk away for 20 minutes. I don't know what you need, but you better figure that out to give you the opportunity to instead respond. Which means an action created an action. No, 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 not the same over here where an action created a reaction, but an action created a choice to be able to communicate. It baffles me the number of us who think we don't have a choice to communicate. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll blow up too. It's possible. Let the right buttons hit, be hit long enough. It's going to be hard for me to tone it down. Mm -mm. I get a lot of practice in, but I'm still human. And that's not an excuse. That's me being aware that I have a limit. And if I'm not aware of my limit, somebody might take advantage of it. And then they're trying to figure out what in the world happened to Marquise. Somebody pushed those buttons too long. He got angry. He didn't have a proper outlet to which he knew how to respond. Third thing I want you to think about is whenever you are lonely. That is a horrible time. Oh my God. To be authentic. Do you realize what you look like? Yeah. You ever seen somebody desperate? Like, I just, I don't, I, 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 I just, I, it's not too cute. Let's just keep it real simple. It's not too cute at all. But this is what happens when we go to interact, go to be in society when we're lonely. We start calling the wrong phone numbers. We start making the wrong choices. We start substituting. Here's a good one. We start eating what is it? Oh, comfort food. Because we're feeling lonely. For some of you, it's time that you start addressing the loneliness and figure out why am I feeling lonely? Because I can be by myself, but that doesn't mean I have to feel lonely. Those two don't necessarily go together. And that's something we all need to be aware of. What skills are you employing to prevent the feeling of loneliness? Mm. What narrative have you been telling yourself that needs to be dismantled so that the truth can come out? that you're not alone, that there are people who care for you, that there are people who have similar work challenges that you do, that there are people who have similar life circumstances that you do. Mm. It's the only time I recommend you compare is when you need to make sure you get yourself back up. Getting off the floor, compare. That's gonna help you get back up, gonna help you stop being filled with sorrow and give you the power to actually be present and be amazing. Last but not least, when you're tired. That is another and the ultimate time to not be authentic because when you're tired mm, when i'm tired and people want more from me my temper let's say my temper is this big right you understand but when i'm tired my temper's like right there i'm not gonna have much more foolishness now y'all you need to get it together are you seriously are you you really want me to go there that's the best, you really, you, that's the best you got. Or vocals go skyrocket because you're just freaking exhausted. You know what that's like? If you've ever seen an infant crying that's already been fed and they're losing their mind, all that means is that, is that they need to be burped so they can go to sleep. And once they put on their back, they pass out. Go to bed. Go to bed. Stop spitting all over people and go to bed. Do a better job of taking care of your health so that you get to be truly authentic and be present with who you are because that's the only time you're actually authentic. Any of the states I just mentioned, being hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, are not normal states. And you, in those states, don't need to be revealing that fake sense of who you are. You need to protect others from that. Anyway. Join the group below my free VIP group where we talk about this stuff and mo so that I can add value to you and we can exchange. In the meantime, what do you think?
What are some of the things that you do to prevent from showing your hand or times that you don't need to be authentic? I look forward to reading your comments and replying. Otherwise, subscribe, share this with somebody you love. Peace.